Hey guys, welcome back to Desert Fox Gaming. So let me tell you, I am still incredibly upset over last week's video with the Dragapult VMAX. I literally, I, I don't even know. It was, that was probably one of the worst box openings I've ever had. What was the other worst one? I think the Champion's Path. Andrew had a shitty Champion's Path, like Elite Trainer Box too. I think he got like maybe a Mew V out of it and that was the only thing. So I don't know. Here's hoping that this Crobat V box has some... You know what? I'm going to go into this with low expectations this time because who knows? We might have some good luck. But based off the last one, um, I'm not going to hold my hopes up very high. So let's not get excited this time and just go into it thinking that I'm going to get shitty pulls again. <sighs> okay, moving on. Crobat V, V Max. Ah! To be fair, though, I think the new Crobat from Battle Styles that's coming out actually, like, looks pretty playable. It's got a nice effect, too, when you evolve that you can draw three cards, and, and it also only has a two energy attack for 100, which, I mean, granted, that's not a huge amount, but it's not bad either, so it'll be interesting to see what people come up with for a deck based around that. Some some some. What does Crobat VMAX do? Anyway, Stealth Poison. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now Poison. Switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon and then max cutter two dark type and one colorless for 180. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Crib V, Crib V Max. Dun dun dun. Actually, it kind of looks the same. It just looks bigger. Which I guess is what all the V Maxes look like, but most of them change a little bit. Maybe not. Anyways. Dun dun, dun dun, I feel like I'm walking disaster path. Disaster, disaster. Ah! Okay, moving on. Oh, sorry. Okay, at least we are starting off with not a naked this time. Are these cards also backwards? Indeed they are. Maybe it's so it goes to show cards that, packs that have cards backwards something up with them. All right, we have the Electricity Energy, a Floatzel, Team Yell Towel, a Gym Trainer, Coughing, Snom, Kufants, Spinarak, a Tootle, a Reverse Holographic Boisel, and a Zerud. Alright, we are starting off with a Gossip Floor. And there is the code card. Hopefully at least you guys have better luck online. Let's just skip the past Cacnea. Another Coughing, another Snom, another Gossip Floor. Hey, look at that! We have a baby! Yay! Finally! Okay, we have a little baby shiny Sobble and a Dreadnought for the rare. Not Water Energy, another Floatzel, another Gym Trainer, and another Tropius. All right, that is our first baby out of nine packs, which is pretty sad. Very sad, actually. All right. I do remember when I, back last year, when I started opening up packs, I had a, some hidden face ones that I opened up, and I, I pulled, like, a shiny Scyther, and I was like, oh, it's Scyther. Oh, it's, like, got cool sparkles on it. I didn't exactly know it at all what I was looking at, and then... When I went back and I had started in with the rest of the bulk and I went back and like, I just randomly was like cruising the prices on it. And I was like, oh shit, that's like actually worth like $8. Hmm, I better go pull that out of the box. Ah, uh, all right. We have a Trap Inch, another Grookey, Shinx, Coughing, a Boisel. Oh, we have a Shiny Hatena and another Zerud. All right. Grass, Electricity Energy, Tropius, Floatzel, Thwacky, and the Code Card. All right, we're making progress. Progress, my friends, progress. Doesn't always work out, though. Sometimes it actually goes horribly wrong, and then a lot of, a lot of people die. Or are injured and struggling. Oops. All right. I swear to God, if this is another Lysander Shinx... Acacnea. I see something. Eevee. 
We have a reverse holographic gossip floor and a Alcrim Evie Max Rainbow Rare. Woo! Okay. Electricity Energy, Rusted Shield, Flacky, <clears throat> a Luxio, and a another code card. All right. So, um, yay. I would have rather had a shiny, though, even if it was like a baby shiny. Um, I want to say this card isn't worth a whole lot. I actually just sold the other one that I did have. So this one's also going to be sold. Goodbye, Al Creamy VMAX. I do want to like make something with all these like card boxes. All right, we have a Toodle, a Morpeko, Yama, a Grookey, Nicket, a Rosographic Thievel, and a Cinderace V. The Seal Type Energy, a Rusted Shield, Dartrix, Blacky, and the Code Card. Uh, all right, Cinderace V, fine. I, for I shall forgive you. Dun, dun. Okay, well, fine. All right, this pack was a little bit better than the Dragapult V. We at least ended up with two baby shinies. Technically, the Rainbow Rare, granted, is only, it's only like 4 or $5, but that's okay. We have a Snom, a Kufant, Spinarak, a Choodle, Kiaknia, Reverse Holographic Gossifloor, a Zarude. Okay, moving on. And there is that one. It's kind of sad how, like, a $70 box is, like... Ah, uh, oh my god. And we're moving on to the last pack. I think, actually, this box is, like, go-to rare was, like, this root here. What is this, like, the second or third one we've had out of, like, seven packs? Something like that. Wow, honey, do we get, like, a second job done? <laughs> Uh, I really do actually need to get a second job to help boost my bank account just a little bit. All right, we have a Choodle, a Rowlet, Trap Inch, Coughing, Shanks. Oh, look, another. Oh, it's a Celebi. Hey, look at that. Okay, fine. Reverse Holographic Celebi, a Dreadnought, Water Energy, Dark Tricks versus Sword, and the last code card right there. All right, guys. So that one still kind of sucked greatly for $70. It's definitely not worth it. I, oh my God. Ah, okay, fine. Like I said, we did get at least a couple of the babies. We got the promo cards. Um, probably just going to sell this one and probably maybe some race fee as well. Uh, unfortunately that's wow. Okay. I wouldn't, you know, but that's the thing too. It's just like, maybe this one sucked, but to be fair, the guy that, um, at the store that I got them from, he was like, he also had like terrible luck on these. So I wouldn't honestly suggest buying these for $70. You can pretty much just go and buy like the singles of all the babies for the most part and then just be done. But I mean, that's like the whole point of Pokemon is just like, you don't know what you're going to get. So sometimes you get really lucky. You might pull like the Charizard V, V max. And other times you end up with like trash and it's just like, wow, I wasted a lot of money on that. Anyway, guys, that is it for this week. Um, I will see you next time with something. I haven't exactly decided what yet. Um, probably some of the battle style stuff that we'll be opening up here shortly. Um, it does release in, well, it, it releases on March 19th, which is like right around the corner here. So I will see you guys then and have a great day. Bye.